Hi, I'm Laura, a patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor had discussed about giving a chemotherapy called ACT regimen. In this video, I want to explain about this treatment. ACT, also called AC Taxol, is a chemotherapy treatment with a combination of three drugs used to treat breast cancer. What is ACT? A is for adriamycin, C is for cyclophosphamide, and T is for Taxol. Adriamycin is an anthracycline class of chemotherapy treatment, and it is also called doxorubicin. Cyclophosphamide is another type of chemotherapy medicine called an alkylating agent and sometimes called a cytoxin. This combination is followed by another type of chemotherapy medicine called a taxane, which can be either paclitaxel, taxol, or docetaxel, taxotere. Either way, it would still be called ACT. How does ACT work? Adriamycin damages DNA of cancer cells and prevents their growth. While cyclophosphamide stops certain protein synthesis in cancer cells and prevents their reproduction. Paclitaxel or docetaxel damages the structure or the skeleton that supports cancer cells and prevents division and growth. Who gets ACT? ACT is a standard regimen for breast cancers that require treatment with chemotherapy. Women with cancer of a higher grade and younger women often get this combination. It can also be used in people who have had a recurrence depending on the medicines you received for the early stage of the disease. How is ACT given? Both AC and T are given by vein, mostly via an infusion port. ACT is usually given in eight cycles, once every two to three weeks. The first four cycles are AC. The next four cycles are paclitaxel. Sometimes the paclitaxel is given weekly for 12 weeks at a lower dose instead of every three weeks. This regimen is often referred to as AC plus weekly T or AC plus WP. ACT is more commonly given on a dose-dense schedule of AC every two weeks for a total of four cycles, followed by paclitaxel every two weeks for a total of four cycles. This regimen is often referred to as DDAC plus P. When docetaxel is used instead of paclitaxel, the AC portion is given once every three weeks, followed by docetaxel, which is also given once every three weeks. What are the side effects from ACT treatment? It is important to remember different medicines have different side effects for different people. You may not have every side effect related to each medicine of the combination therapy. Less common but serious side effects include heart problems. Your doctor will obtain a baseline echocardiogram to monitor your cardiac function before starting the treatment and periodically as necessary. Arrhythmias. You may experience persistent palpitations or heart racing. Please call your doctor if you have a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, fatigue, shortness of breath, heart racing or palpitation, discomfort lying on your back, swelling of the ankles, cough, or difficulty in breathing. The most common side effects of ACT may include low red cell counts or anemia. With anemia, you may experience a lot of fatigue, palpitations, increased heartbeat, and shortness of breath. Low white blood cell counts. Your doctor will administer a G-CSF medication 24 hours after treatment to reduce the chance of infection. Nausea and vomiting. ACT regimen can cause two types of nausea or vomiting. Immediate nausea vomiting occurs within one to two hours of chemotherapy administration and can last for up to 24 hours. And delayed nausea vomiting presents more than 24 hours after chemotherapy administration and can last for up to five days. For vomiting, your doctor may prescribe other oral nausea medications like ondansetron, procloparacine, or promethazine. Dehydration from diarrhea or vomiting. You may experience symptoms of low fluid volume. Increase your fluid intake and call your doctor so you can be evaluated right away. Neuropathy. You may experience tingling or numbness from neuropathy caused by paclitaxel. When it is severe, you may have trouble with your walking, buttoning your shirt, or handling a doorknob. Loss of appetite, hair loss, mouth sores, bladder irritation, bone pain, diarrhea, 
increased risk of sunburn, and menopausal symptoms. Your doctor will check your blood before you start treatment. If your blood count is low, then your treatment may be delayed. Please call your doctor if you feel you are not well and if side effects do not improve after medications are prescribed by your doctor. Please tell your doctor about any medicines you are taking, including vitamins, herbal supplements, and over-the-counter medicines to make sure they will not interfere with your treatment. For managing a specific side effect, please watch our symptom-specific video. Call 911 immediately if you experience a medical emergency. If you have additional questions, contact your doctor's office, or you can always ask an oncologist in the OncoPower app. Thank you for watching. Feel free to replay this video as often as you would like to. Thank you and good luck.